Hi. Thank you for talking to us. So please do introduce yourself. Yes, I'm David Scousel, President and Chief Executive of the World Travel and Tourism Council. So here at WTTC, um, it has just ended first ever Asian Summit. How was it for you? Was it a great success? Well, it was a fantastic success. Uh, we came to Seoul quite deliberately because Korea is becoming the centre of the universe, not just for travel and tourism, but for technology development and some of the other trends you see going on in the country. And so we came here quite deliberately. Uh, and as an Asia summit, of course, people from around Asia have come. So we had lots of delegates from Japan, China, and Indonesia, and Malaysia, and the whole of Asia. So it was a great coming together. We had a lot of government ministers here representing the public sector. And of course, we had our own chief executives and chairman from the private sector, and it's a powerful mix when you put them together. It is exciting you know, to see this tremendous growth in the region. Now, in your view, is this sus sustainable? Well, it's interesting because the whole universe of travel and tourism is shifting east quite rapidly now. And if you look over the next 10 years or so, China particularly is going to grow enormously to the extent that China will overtake the US as the biggest travel and tourism country uh, by about 2023. So with that shift and with the growth of the middle classes in Asia, the potential for travel and tourism businesses is enormous. However, having said that, we've got to make sure that as we grow to absorb the growth that's coming from people coming to middle classes, that we're building out the infrastructure in the right way, we're planning in advance, and we're developing hotels to, to house all these people in a very sustainable way. And that's going to be one of the key challenges for the industry. It would seem that the removal of barriers, visa restrictions, is happening faster in the emerging countries, emerging destinations perhaps, than more established destinations. Is that the case? Yes, I think that's true. Uh, and in the developed markets, particularly around Europe and North America, for example, there has been a tendency in the past to take travel and tourism for granted until something dramatic happens, like an ash cloud, and everybody stops traveling. And then, of course, they're very focused on it. But if you come out into Asia, particularly in some of the other developing markets, the governments really do understand the ability of travel and tourism to generate jobs and, and GDP and growth generally. And therefore, they're very focused on travel facilitation, making it easy for people to land in their countries and, in, and enjoy their products. So they are more focused, generally speaking, than, than the developed world. Sure. Lastly, perhaps, um, at the opening um, uh, session, Right Honourable Tony Blair has mentioned about you know, the challenges that the leaders face are greater than ever, which is very true in this you know, um, fast-changing um, uh, landscape. What is your message you know, uh, for that? And what is perhaps WTTC helping the leaders you know, to, to overcome the challenges, perhaps turn it into opportunities? Yeah. Well, he, he talked a lot about leadership, and from, from our perspective in the travel industry, there are probably two or three things that we need to be really focused on. The first is developing people for the future, developing human capital, because just within Asia, we're expecting another 47 million people to come into the job market to deal with travel and tourism in the next 10 years. So there's a huge wave of training and education that needs to be done. Uh, the second is that the businesses have always got to plan for the unexpected. There will always be unexpected shocks in the travel and tourism industry, and we know we're very resilient, but you have to plan for the shocks to happen. And the third area is the speed of communication and technology development, because it's getting ever faster. And if you're in a business that's managing its channels of distribution, looking at social networking, and all the things that are hitting us, particularly the mobile, you have to be very focused on the technology side. You're welcome.